Hi Pisces, how's it going? Um, this is your bonus tarot reading for this month. We'll have three separate spreads in this reading. In the first spread we'll look at what you urgently need to know right now and it could be about pretty much anything, whatever comes up. Then in the second, the advice spread, we'll see what's recommended for you in this situation and uh, spread number three will be the next good thing that will happen to you in the near future. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. All right, Pisces, so here's what you urgently need to know right now. We have the Three of Swords, clarified by the Ten of Swords. We have the King of Pentacles, clarified by the Knight of Wands. We have the Nine of Wands, and uh, we have the Page of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, maybe a Fire sign. Here is Leo Sagittarius. Um, so what you urgently need to know right now is you got this King of Pentacles, who is, I think, is coming back to you. They are coming back. All right. At this point, I think most of you will not want to have anything to do with this person. Okay, most of you. But uh, I will double check uh, in the second spread, the advice spread. But that's what I see so far. I don't see you jumping on this opportunity, right? Let me let let's talk about the end of this reading, <laughs> right? The nine of wands, right next to the deck. I think that's how you're going to be feeling and reacting to, towards this King of Pentacles. The Nine of Wands is not a rejection card. However, it is a card of somebody who is hurting, somebody who is a wounded warrior, somebody who is very skeptical, suspicious because of what happened in the past. So that's going to be your initial reaction towards this person. But they're coming back. We got the uh, Page of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Could be a part of an apology. Or they may just, uh, if it's your birthday coming up anytime soon, first of all, happy birthday. It could be them wishing you a happy birthday. Or them just uh, asking you out, sending you a bouquet of flowers, hoping to uh, get this show back on the road with you. This person really, really messed up in the past, right? We have the Three of Swords clarified by the Ten of Swords in the beginning and those two are like horrific cards when it comes to uh, endings, right? The Three of Swords is a card of a broken heart, feeling stabbed in the back, um, feeling devastated. The Ten of Swords clarifying that, yeah, it's a card of an ending and it's a very painful ending with the Ten of Swords. Something got derailed, right? The King of Pentacles in the middle is the person, so most likely an Earth sign, Taurus Virgo Capricorn, or somebody with a lot of Earth in their chart. And the Knight of Wands clarifying them is a huge red flag, right? The Knight of Wands is the most passionate knight out of all four knights. So this is a the Knight of Wands is a card of a player, somebody who is hot and cold in and out of your life. Uh, yeah, playboy, play girl kind of a character. So that if you can think of uh, someone like that, especially if they have Earth in their chart, that could be the person coming back to you. But yeah, let's take a look at the advice spread real quick. So here's the advice for you, um, Pisces, uh, for what we saw in the first But We have Judgment, the Seven of Wands, the Eight of Cups, and the Seven of Cups. The uh, advice for you is to stay as far away from this person as possible. Don't let them cloud your judgment. Do not go out drinking with them. Okay? Do not. Better just ghost them, block them, don't even bother with them. Okay? Yeah. Um, judgment, the first card I came out is a card of somebody coming back from the past. Alright? So seven of Wands, this is where you come in. This is you standing your ground, fighting this person off. Um, the Seven of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Every once in a while this card comes through as a card of intoxication. All right. So if you do go out with them, they may uh, do something you're not gonna like. All right. So keep that in mind. The Seven of Cups is also a card of somebody's judgment being clouded. Perhaps they they are like a BS master. They know what to say and when to say it. Um, so be careful of that. Uh, the Eight of Cups right next to the deck is a card of somebody walking away, and I think this is you walking away from this individual, putting them behind. Okay, so yeah, that's the advice. Um, we still have one more spread left, so let's take a look. Here's the next good thing that'll happen to you, Pisces, that will at least put a smile on your face. We have uh, the Ten of Swords, clarified by the world. Um, we have uh, the Nine of Cups, clarified by the Eight of Cups. We have the Queen of Cups, clarified by the Six of Swords and the Sun. And uh, we also have the Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with the Leo or any Zodiac sign. I gotta be honest with you, Pisces. This, the first three cards that came out and the card on the bottom of the deck kind of threw me off. 
But uh, now that we have clarifiers on the table, it kind of makes sense. Well, it makes total sense. Okay? So here's the deal. Um, in the beginning of this spread with the Ten of Swords in the world, we are looking at the situation from the first two spreads. Okay? The Ten of Swords is a card of an ending. The world is also a card of an ending. Okay? Then we have the Nine of Cups clarified by the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups is a repeat card, and so is the Ten of Swords, right? And this is you walking away from that person from your past, that King of Pentacles. For some of you, for some of you Pisces, perhaps you are already talking to a new person. And uh, that person from the past, they found out and uh, they're coming back because now it's hurting their self-esteem or they want you back, right? They're racing back to prevent you from, from moving on. Right? If that's the case, then you're shutting them down and you're going to continue moving forward with this new person. If you don't have anybody just yet, if you don't have any new people, then you will have a new person coming your way. It, it could be like a final test for you from the universe to finally kick that person to the curb because the universe has something so much better to offer you. It's like a prize. Okay? That's the way I see this. That's the way I see this. You definitely have a new person coming your way. Definitely. Okay, the only, the only hoop to jump through is to say final goodbyes to that person we saw in the first spread. Alright? Most importantly, the Queen of Cups is clarified by the Six of Swords and the Sun. You're the Queen of Cups here. The Six of Swords is a card of moving on, moving forward, moving into the future. And uh, what's waiting for you in the future is the sun. <laughs> the sun is the happiest card in the deck. It's the happiest card in the deck, all right? Uh, it's also a card of clarity. So I think you'll gain this clarity that you need to leave that person behind and move towards either with the new person, if you're already talking to a new person, or you've got bright future ahead of you, <laughs> okay? Brightest future possible future ahead of you with the Sun card. We also have the Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck and I think that this is with a new person. Whether you're talking to somebody or not, definitely a soulmate waiting for you uh, in the future, right? Because the Two of Cups is a soulmate card. Okay? So hopefully this makes sense for you Pisces. Uh, and hopefully this will be a great birthday present for you. All right, happy birthday. So that's what I have for you uh, for this reading, for this time period. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Pisces, have an amazing March. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing, and subscribing.